Item number SCP-6505 Object Class Cutter Special Containment Procedures SCP-6505 is effectively uncontainable. Confirmed instances of SCP-6505 are to be immediately quarantined from civilian populations and destroyed to prevent further spread of the anomaly. All personnel affected by SCP-6505 should be considered lost. Description SCP-6505 refers to a spatial temporal phenomenon primarily affecting fast food drive through restaurants throughout the western United States. There is no known pattern to the manifestation of SCP-6505 as it appears to affect any establishment with a drive through indiscriminately, even those that do not primarily serve fast food, such as convenience stores. SCP-6505 will only affect one establishment at a time, but will detect attempts at containment due to the sudden decline in patrons and relocate to another business. Individuals who order any item from the establishment affected by SCP-6505 henceforth designated SCP-6505-1 will trigger the anomaly. After paying for the item and retrieving it, attempts to leave the drive through will result in the victim being relocated to the start of the drive through albeit with no other vehicles or businesses in sight. The space outside of SCP-6505-1 is an apparently empty black void. With each subsequent trip through the drive through SCP-6505-1 will provide the customer with increasingly bizarre and unusual items, ranging from food items never served at that establishment to human flesh to redacted. This will continue so long as the victim is willing to receive these items and pays for them. The price remains fixed at the cost of the initial order, regardless of the actual items provided. Should the victim refuse to receive an item or run out of funds, they will be ejected from the anomaly with no apparent long-term effects. In all cases, an inspection of the vehicles driven by victims of SCP-65051 results in a note being discovered that reads, Speak of this to nobody. Should the victim disregard this note and describe SCP-6505 to any other human subject in any capacity, scp 6505 secretary property will be triggered. The next time the subject utilizes any drive through while inside a vehicle, a group of emaciated humanoids collectively designated SCP-6505-2 will materialize in any unoccupied space within the vehicle. SCP-6505-2 will then restrain the victim before they, along with all instances of SCP-6505-2, vanish. Based on the analysis of the footage, it is believed that these individuals become employees of SCP-6505 and will appear as cooks, cashiers, or in a similar role during the next manifestations of the anomaly. Limited testing implies that such individuals are aware of their lives prior to employment, but state that departure from SCP-6505 is impossible. Addendum 1. Test Log 65051 Subject D-2105 is outfitted with a body camera, provided a debit card linked to an account with $1,000, and provided with a standard four-door sedan. He is then instructed to drive to Redacted, a confirmed host of SCP-6505. The following is a selection of notable items received by D-2105 prior to ejection from the anomaly. Truck 1. Initial order. Large cheeseburger with ketchup, large fries, large soda. Items provided match the order exactly. Trip 2. 10 chicken nuggets and a Canadian coin. Restaurant was located in California. Trip 6. A drumstick from an unknown bird, possibly an ostrich. Trip 8. Raw beef. Trip 16. Approximately 1 kilogram of methamphetamine. Trip 17. A fully functional Game Boy Advance system with copies of several Pokemon video games. Trip 22. 
a human heart capable of beating autonomously. When D2105 exerted pressure on the heart, it spoke in a voice similar to that of SCP-058, though it did not exhibit any hostile behaviors. Trap 35. A human index finger. D2105 began expressing a desire to cease testing due to the combination of exhaustion and stress caused by the nature of his circumstances. Trip 37. A standard sheet of printer paper. A typed message on the paper reads, Going so soon, we appreciate your business. Trip 46. A cup of an unknown liquid superficially resembling black coffee. D2105 was instructed to ingest the liquid, and despite initial reluctance, eventually complied subsequent to ingestion. D2105 reported feeling highly alert and reinvigorated, with an unusually enthusiastic desire to continue testing. Trip 48 a small piece of concrete and rebar with an apparently separating that of SCP-173. The item moves autonomously when not directly observed, but is not hostile. Trip 56. A copy of an album titled Funny Money by the American rap group Death Grips. Outside of this copy, such an album does not exist. Trip 73. A photograph of D2105 with individuals assumed to be his close relatives. D2105 became emotional when exposed to the photograph. First standard D-class reception procedure. D2105 was amnesticized but should have precluded recognition of family members. Dr. Conrad expressed concerns regarding a potential informational security breach, but testing continued. Trip 77. The SCP New Employee Handbook Trip 80 A small wind-up toy comprised of various miniature pulleys, gears, and clockwork components. When any item is inserted into the toy's input slot, the output is a fully edible gumball with a random flavor. Labels include those that will not be used in commercial gumballs, such as grass, rust, and decomposition. Trip 87 a living specimen of Velociraptor. Specimen was non-hostile and perched itself on D2105's lap where it remained for the duration of testing. Occasionally yelping and eating random food items D2105 had collected. Trip 88. A bioluminescent piece of flesh red in coloration. Exposure induced slight lightheadedness in D2105. Flesh possibly originate from SCP-939. Trip 90 $5,000 in cash Trip 100 A cassette player with a corresponding cassette bearing the label Play Me, D2105 was instructed to play the cassette. Sounds heard are consistent with exaggerated sexual intercourse, possibly of a pornographic origin. D2105 reported not to be higher libido following this. Several minutes later, a young adult male in near peak physical condition materialized adjacent to D2105. A subject administered beep to D2105 for 13 minutes before vanishing. When questioned, D2105 described the subject as his ideal partner. Trip 112. A cardboard box containing human intestines. Contents of intestines reveal food items served by the original restaurant. At this point, testing was concluded after D2105 refused to receive any more items. All items were collected and transferred to permanent containment cells. D2105 was terminated at the end of the month per standard procedure. Addendum 2. Incident. 65052. Unredacted. SCP-6505 materialized in the Site-551 lunchroom, which possesses a small window from which the catering staff is able to serve site personnel. This is the only known instance of SCP-6505 manifesting in a situation that precludes the use of vehicles. 
All personnel expelled by SCP-6505 reported exclusively receiving items pertaining to the Foundation, such as photographs of dangerous anomalies and personnel files describing significant numbers of research staff. One document in particular came to the attention of the project staff and is transcribed below. You frickin' pieces of crap! Do you think this is frickin' funny? I pay frickin' exorbitant sums to give people what they want, and you treat this like some frickin' game, driving up to my windows like the entire frickin' world is here to blow you! Frick off! You know what the worst frickin' part is! I can say no! I can't refuse service! You're still customers, right? You frickin' pieces of crap! You frickin' turds! I have lost more money serving you lot than the last 15,000 years of business! Combined, I have literally spent more money in the past few months on you stupid fricks than I did providing food to an entire planet of carnivorous bees! Think about how much meat is required to serve 15 billion individuals! A lot, right? Sounds expensive, right? You have cost me more than that, you frickin' assholes! I run a respectable frickin' business with a respectable frickin' practices. I am such a nice frickin' guy that I literally bitch about you cockroach, bug eyed mother frickers to the ends of earth and still greet you with a smile. Why? It's my job. It's called personal responsibility. It's called being a frickin' adult. Why don't you try it sometime? Hey, why did that guy reach a surf, drive away after refusing to take an item and immediately get shot by 16 dudes of assault rifles? I don't know, Tammy. Maybe you should ask the idiots who think it's necessary to send the same guy through the drive through a billion frickin' times while they gun people down in the parking lot. Great for business, right? Come down to my restaurant. You'll immediately get done down like it's World War II if you even frickin' contemplate driving away. What the frick is that? What the frick is wrong with you? Oh, look, another one. Another prisoner. Another Foundation employee. How cute. Gee, what is he going to do? Do you think? Stay in the drive through for 16 frickin' hours refusing to leave? What the frickin' shock! What did you want to do today? Who gives a frick, right? I've just spent the next three days of my life in a drive through I don't even know who half these frickin' people are. God, I frickin' hate you! Anyways, I hope this little reaches you. Stop freaking around with me. I don't live to serve you like some freaking butler. Get a job, you fricks. Stop freaking with me. Please. Yours, Malcolm T. Hamburgerson, CEO, Interdimensional Eateries Incorporated.